So the question is, do you deal with a hot, anxious horse? And if so, these are some of the tips and tricks that I've done with dealing with horses that just get really bad anxiety at a barrel race and especially before they actually go do their run. So with my experience of having this horse that we got, he had really bad anxiety before we even got him and he's just a nervous wreck. Like he was kind of sad, but like he just could not handle his emotions. He just got so hot, he was unmanageable and how we went about it, it eventually got a lot better, but it definitely is something that's gonna take you a lot of time. So the one big important thing that I think is all, like it's usually missed but is something that we should do as riders is if we're dealing with a hot horse especially before a run let's not nitpick anything let's make their job as easy as possible and as stress-free as possible so I know at a barrel race we want things to go perfect and right but at the same time our job there is to barrel race and not train so if your horse is hot even way before your run and they're anxious and they're just not loping pretty whatever the thing that we have to kind of evaluate ourselves is that we're not here to get perfect circles obviously it would be nice but if you're dealing with that hot horse it might not happen so what i would recommend is get your warm-up done as best as your ability once your horse is warmed up like not a ton not don't burn them out because me and my mom say like you're not going to run a marathon before a marathon so just get the warm-up done that they're ready to go compete and not hurt themselves once your warm-up's done quite literally just get off get off hand walk them let them relax just chill out and what we did with this horse is before our race we would just kind of catch him off guard so with that i mean before the next five horses if we we're in that drag we would still be off his back. We would just stand there and he'd almost maybe even be like sleeping and not even realizing what is about to happen to him. And then when our name was pretty much called, get on and then try and get to the shoot and go. And it, that just eliminated all the problems. There's no fighting because you didn't have time to do the fighting. And there was no time for him to get anxious because before he knew it, he was going down the alley to his run and he didn't have time to think about and just get hyped about that area of the shoot and just that whole fighting. You're kind of eliminating the problem before it even starts. So it will take time and I think, you know, like obviously he's still, the second we got on and headed in that direction, he still might want to fight a little bit. But if I have forward motion, I'm winning and I'm going, okay? So if you have forward motion, it might not be the perfect forward motion you want or he's not shaped right and you're not getting him properly in. The mission here with the hot horse is just to get them in on all four feet, <laughs> which like I said, it could be a struggle, but I think it's kind of man-made. And if we just focus on getting our forward motion when it is our time to go and that is it, it might make things a lot easier. So like I said, it might take a bit of time, but definitely just think of eliminating all the things that they can get nervous about and do it for your horse. Uh, like I was thinking, we kind of want the warm up. It's mostly for ourselves and we like before our run to go and shape and we kind of thinking about what we're going to have to do for our run. But at this point, we have to just think about our horse and do it just for the horse. So even if we don't get the best warm up we want as riders, we have to think about the horse. He doesn't need all that warm up. He doesn't need all that time on our back right now. He needs to relax. And how he relaxes is just by standing still and being hand walked. So let me know what you think about that. Um, that's our experience. It turned out pretty good. He was a really nice ex rainer just had anxiety issues. And eventually, my well, he was for my mom. She handled him really well. And eventually, he was just fine. He got nervous and tense. But we had the forward motion and we did not make a big deal out of everything or anything. So it ended up working out pretty well. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. And uh, thank you for watching.